In this video, we've got two constant forces act on a body of mass m kilos. Five seconds after starting to accelerate from rest, the velocity of the body is 5i minus 7j meters per second. Given that the resultant force is 80i minus 112j, find m. OK, right. So let's think about this then. Um, now we've got this, uh, we're told the resultant force, OK? That's the net force. That's going to be equal to mass times acceleration. So I really need the acceleration, OK? If I have the acceleration vector, I can put that F equals to M times the acceleration vector, and that will allow me to find out what M is. OK, so uh, in order to find the acceleration, I'm going to have to think about what I've got in this first bit here. Now, I'm told the time. Uh, I know that we're accelerated from rest, so the initial velocity is 0. And the final velocity is 5i minus 7j. So I've got three pieces of information there for SUVAT. So S U V A T. So T was 5. The initial velocity is 0i plus 0j because we're going from rest. And the final velocity is 5i minus 7j. And I want to find the acceleration. So the equation that doesn't have the s in it is v equals u plus at. So v is equal to u plus at. So v is 5i minus 7j. u is 0i plus 0j. So I don't need to write that down. And we've got a times t, so 5a. So if I divide both sides by 5, I can get the vector for a. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. And minus 7 divided by 5 is minus 1.4 j. So there's my acceleration vector. Now I can utilize f equals ma, Newton's second law. So the net force, the resultant force, is the 80i minus 112j. And that's going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration. So I need to find what m would be. Well, m would have to be 80 in order to multiply by the i to get the 80i. We just need to check that 80 lots of 1.4 is the 112. Right, so that's fine. So that means that m is 80. OK, so we have 80 kilos. That is the mass of the body. So now, one of the forces is given by minus 3i minus 20j. Calculate the magnitude of the other force. So if we've got these two forces, here's one. So minus 3i minus 20j plus this second force, which we'll call F2 must be equal to the 80i minus 112j. OK, that resultant force. So uh, we can add the 3i to both sides to get the F2. So uh, we're going to get 83i and then add the 20j to both sides. So we get minus uh, 92j. OK. That's right, I always second guess myself there. Minus 92, of course it is, right? OK, so that's our force. So we want to find the magnitude of that force. So 83i, 83, 83 along, 92 down. OK, so 83 along, 92 down, makes a right angle triangle. So the magnitude of F2 is equal to the square root of 83 squared plus 92 squared. So square root of 83 squared plus 92 squared gets me 123.907, etc. So 124 newtons to 3 sig fig. OK, so that's how we can solve this problem utilizing f equals ma and the SUVAT equations.